Hello, welcome to another ChatGPT and GreenShift WordPress tutorial. So, AI is here. It is helping in many ways, and web design has not been left out. If you are a web designer, and you are tired of staring at a blank page, overthinking, and not knowing exactly what to do whenever you are starting a new web design project, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can design websites easily and faster using ChatGPT and GreenShift templates. Kindly note that although in this video I'm using GreenShift, you can adapt this method to any other WordPress page builder, be it Elementor, Cadence Blocks, Spectra, Generate Blocks, etc. Now, in case you're wondering why I chose GreenShift over other page builders. First of all, speed. Websites built with GreenShift load really fast, almost instantly. GreenShift also has amazing features. This website you're looking at is a Facebook clone that I built with GreenShift. I can't think of any other plugin or page builder that can achieve this. The link to this website is in the description below. The free version of GreenShift is enough to design a complete website. You'll find the download link in the description to follow this tutorial. My name is Welkin. Kindly support my work by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and sharing it with other WordPress users. Now, let's get started. So let's say you are to design a website for a company called Green Estates Agency. Instead of sitting down, staring at a blank page, overthinking for hours, not knowing where or how to start the design, you can simply grab a template and then give it to ChatGPT to customize it to suit the Green Estates Agency brand. Let me show you how. As you know, websites have sections. While you're on this website, in the left area you can see links to free website section templates. We have the Hero section, Gallery, Features, Call to Action, Content section, Contacts, Testimonials, Team section, and many others. Now, it is up to you, the designer, to choose or decide which sections you would put on the web page. Let's start with the Hero section, which is the top area of the website. Open this in a new tab. Here we have about six Hero section templates. As time goes on, I will add more. For this project, let's use VistaLead GreenShift. Let's check the demo to see how it looks. Alright, this is the VistaLead Hero section template. Built with GreenShift, this template has been adapted to a coffee business website. As you can see, it has also been adapted to other businesses. Same template, same layout, you can adapt it to almost any business type. Here's another variation for a coffee business. You can take your time and go through, you can use whichever template you, you like. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate with VistaLead GreenShift. To customize the VistaLead Hero section template using ChatGPT, we have to give ChatGPT a screenshot of the section layout. So let's click here to view the details of VistaLead GreenShift. And you see this button here, it says Template Image. You can actually screenshot this and give it to ChatGPT. But I have an image ready for download, so click here and the image opens. Simply right click and then Save As. Now that we have our image downloaded, go to ChatGPT and give it the image. Go back to the template demo page. The template we are using is VistaLead, which is this one. You can also get there by clicking this link from the details page. Now scroll down to this area. On the demo page, you have the template code and the prompt. This is the prompt. Copy the prompt and paste it here. The prompt says, the attached image is a screenshot of the hero section of a website. Adapt the layout to suit the hero section of a website for my real estate agency, whose name is Green Estates Agency. Position yourself as a web design expert and give me suitable text, brand colors, and anything relevant to make this hero section look professional. Very well. As you can see, within a few seconds, ChatGPT has given us everything we need to customize this template to suit the Green Estates Agency brand create a new page. This is going to be the home page for Green Estates Agency. Give your home page a title as usual. I'm using my existing website which already has a home page, so I will name this home page Green Estates Agency. Then go to the demo page of this section template and copy the code. Make sure that there is a paragraph block and then paste the code here. There you have it. You now have the exact copy of this hero section. We are going to customize this and adapt it to a real estate website for a Green Estates Agency. Click the Save button to save your changes. Depending on the theme you are using, 
you might want to do some edits to the default page layout. This has nothing to do with the template you copied. For example, I am using the Bloxy theme, and I want to hide the title. I will disable the home title because I already have a heading here, an H1, and I might also want to change the page layout. For this, I would rather go with the wide option. Right? then hit Publish. Again, what we've just done has nothing to do with the template itself. It's just a theme setting. Depending on your theme, you might want to do the same. Now let's go into our template and start customizing. As you can see, this text here says, Discover your perfect copy. Sorry, Discover your perfect cup. It seems to be overlapping because I have not set a line height. So let's set a line height for this heading. Let's say I want 5. That's good, that's okay. Save changes. Now let's go to ChatGPT. As you can see, ChatGPT has given us everything we need to adapt the layout to a professional real estate website for Green Estates Agency. So now we have custom colors and custom texts for our design. It has even gone ahead to give us suggestions for the kind of images we should put in the three image spots. This one, this one, and this one. But I would suggest that if you are working with a real client, then you might want to use their original images. Unless, of course, you are designing a template to pitch to clients. In that case, you can go with ChatGPT's suggested images. You can even use them as prompts to generate images for your design. ChatGPT has also suggested the perfect font type for our design. It says, use a clean sans serif font like Poppins or Lado for professionalism. For the hero background, it recommends a light neutral off-white. While you go through ChatGPT's reply, you will know exactly what to do. Now, let's go ahead and start customizing. We are starting with this, the tagline. ChatGPT says you should use trusted real estate partners. That's this text I have copied. Simply come here and paste it. So this is it. Replace freshly brewed daily with this tagline. <laughs> paste here. Now the actual heading, which is this one. Paste here. All right, now for the paragraph the supporting text, which is this. Paste it here. And just like that, we are almost done customizing our template. I already have some images I want to use, but like I said earlier, if you are designing for a client, then you might want to use their original images. Otherwise, ChatGPT has suggested some images here, one for the left, one for the center, and one for the right. You can simply copy the prompts. For example, happy family standing. Go to Google's AI image generator, Paste the prompt and it will generate high-quality professional images for your project. I already have some images, so let me just go ahead and upload them. Click on the image, choose Replace, and then open Media Library. Let me go for this one. Select. Now let me adjust the focal point. I think I like this. So I will go ahead and replace the remaining images as well. Now let me save this and preview what I have done so far. This is what we have. Now our text and images are suitable for the Green Estates Agency brand. What we need to do now is make a few tweaks. And then we are done with the hero section. Very easy. You will notice that due to the line height we added, some extra spaces have appeared here and here. Let's go and take care of that. Let's see if these elements have their own spacing. This one has a top spacing of 20. Let's reduce it to 5 or 0. The bottom, I think, is OK. Now let's check this one, the tagline. The bottom spacing is 30. Let's reduce it to maybe 5 or 0. 0 is fine because the line height we set, which is 5 here, is already creating space between the main heading, the tagline, and the supporting text below it. And so, let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Actually, you can play around with this to see whether you want to add extra spacing or leave it as it is. I think I like it this way. 
Now, let's go back to ChatGPT and copy the other things it has suggested to customize this hero template. So, let's start with colors. For the background, ChatGPT suggests using a neutral white or cream. So, I'll copy this code. Now, select the section, go to Advanced, and then to Background. Paste the color we copied from ChatGPT here. Next, for our tagline, ChatGPT suggested a primary green. So select the tagline, go to Colors, and change the text color to green. Use the color we copied from ChatGPT. Now, for the button, ChatGPT suggested using green with gold for the hover effect. So let's apply that. Select the button. For the normal state, apply the green we copied. For hover, click here and add the gold color that ChatGPT gave us. Copy it. Paste it here. Right, now save changes and let's view this on the front end. Let's refresh our home page. This is looking good. Now we have to change the text here that says explore how many. That's still the coffee demo text, so we will change that. You can see how we have the green accent. It looks great. If you do not like the images, you can always replace them. Images play an important role in the overall design. You can always test different images to see which one works best. Now there are a few things to take note of. Green Shift is very customizable. After all, it's a page builder. So you see this text, I gave it a custom length. You can adjust all of these, they are custom lengths. When you click this text, you'll realize that I've given it a size. The length for this at the moment is 38. Let's make it 40, you can even go 50. Just play around to see what looks nice or what works best for you. You can do the same with this heading. Now let's go to chat GPT and copy our CTA button text, which says explore these things. So you come here, this is it. That's the button we are editing. For the button icon, you can either upload an image icon from here, or you can go to Icons 8 or any other icon website and grab a suitable icon for your project. I am going to use GreenShift's icon library. You can also add an SVG code. Just copy the SVG code and paste it and the icon will show. For now, I'm just going to pick a GreenShift icon. This is the one I'm going to use, the house icon. Right? Save changes. Now let's refresh. I've also gone ahead to replace some of the images. And so this is what we now have. As you can see, everything is fully customized for a real estate agency website. This was very easy. Something that could have taken someone a whole day or many hours to figure out. We were able to do it quickly with GreenShift. Like I said, GreenShift is very customizable. You can always go in there and tweak just about anything. If you have not used GreenShift before, let me know in the comments below. So that's it. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to customize the other sections to complete the home page for this real estate website. So stick around. And also, feel free to copy any of the templates you see on the website. This channel teaches you novel WordPress and AI web design tricks. So again, be sure to stick around. I hope to see you in the next video. Kindly subscribe, like, and share this video with other WordPress users.